everyone hope you're all doing great i'm currently in our living room in the bangalore apartment where we recently shifted as most of you know and it's quite different from what we had to work with in goa but we are very excited we did have a few challenges in terms of figuring out our furniture placements and the layout in this new space but also elements like workable walls and more luxurious window treatments etc have us really pumped for this video i'm so excited to show you guys that even with old furniture or old decor items you can swap things change a few elements tweak a few elements and still infuse a very fresh personality to your space which doesn't look like it's the same old from the previous setup or from the previous homes let's get started first segment we're going to be tackling is the window treatment to tackle the window segment we decided that since this is the largest window bringing in the most amount of natural light we didn't want to do anything to block the light coming in but we still wanted to make the window treatment look luxurious now one way to do this is to go for a double curtain system so that you have a sheer and actually you also have a blackout curtain in our case we decided to avoid blackout because like i said we didn't want to block the light but we could still have two layers years of sheer making it look extra gorgeous and we had so many curtain panels from our goa home which meant we would reduce wastage we had one curtain rod already given by the landlord we purchased the same one from amazon and installed it as a double curtain rod system and we followed some industry best practices to open up the space previously the curtain rod was very close to the window frame we removed it and took it a lot higher from where the window frame begins what this does is it makes the window look larger but it also makes the ceiling look bigger or rather higher and overall gives this more luxurious look to the window area so that's what we've done in terms of curtains we've gone for white and teal because both are colors that are soft and of course they let a lot of natural light seep in and i'm very happy with how they've turned out in terms of the length of the curtain panels they were a lot longer but by raising the height of where the rod start of course and by doing a little bit of hemming work myself at home i have sorted this problem as well with the window treatment taken care of we've come to the next segment which is lighting and lighting is super important and again with the no wastage reuse policy we decided to use the lamps we had already purchased in goa on the two walls here that face each other so that goes beautifully with the setup now we have a central point in which we have a fan but we do not want this here we decided that we have another adjacent point to which we can just switch our fan and still get the benefits of it whereas we can actually put the central point to better use and have a pendant lamp so that is what i have purchased from ikea i did not show it in the previous ikea haul video because it was outside that video's budget range that i spoke of so it's a very nice pendant lamp in terms of color palette it goes with what we are planning for the rest of the room and it's got a very subdued and subtle look so that's something i'm extremely happy with besides that we also have our old floor lamp and certain other smaller surface lamps that we've used so overall there's plenty of lighting options and it looks very very magical in the evening we have now come to that portion of the video which has been a long time dream of mine ever since our singapore apartment i've always wanted to create some small part of the home with wallpaper but in goa apartment that proved impossible with the large other than life walls that we had there however in this apartment the tv wall presents the perfect opportunity for me to create an accent wall using wallpaper my experience with wallpapers thus far have been limited to the peel and stick diy variety but this time i've gotten lucky because the brand life and colors have generously sponsored this segment of the video and so for the first time i can choose from a variety of colors and designs and take my pick and not just that but also have it professionally installed Life and Color have a vast range of wallpaper designs to suit every design aesthetic from vintage to modern from exotic to minimalist and for every corner of the home from living room to kids bedrooms it took us some time to choose the design we would be happy with which the team then created mock ups of with the help of the tv wall photos we shared with them then as per our size requirements the order was printed and shipped 
We received the product in less than 10 business days. And here I'd like to make a special note of the fact that their products are non-toxic and printed with advanced water-based ink, which in my opinion seems to give gorgeous results. The process is seamless and there is support every step of the way. With the installation done professionally and perfectly, I have nothing to do now but sit back, relax and enjoy the unique design addition to my living room. Life & Colors offers a variety of sizes, material and design choices to pick from. Their tagline, creators of the most beautiful wallpapers, in my opinion, is truly justified. Simply take a look at their website or WhatsApp them on the number provided on the screen as well as in the description box to get started. They have also generously given a discount coupon exclusively for Nest Artfully viewers so that you can get a 10% off on your wallpaper purchase. Do stay until the end of the video to see the final reveal of the complete accent wall. We've come to that section of the video where we're going to tackle the wall above the sofa area. Now this is a continuous wall that starts right at the entrance of the house and the only break there is the door that leads into our master bedroom. So given the scale of the wall, I thought a gallery setup will look very nice rather than just go for one large piece of art or you know three panel art that sort of a setup and I really love an eclectic gallery wall that's something that has always been part of my decor ideas and plans so that's what we're going to start with now an eclectic wall can contain a variety of items so it can have art that you like things that are personal to you like your photographs and even other wall decor products that are made out of let's say wood or metal it can just be a mishmash of various items so that's what we're going to do I have curated things that mean something to us and things that we would like looking at on a daily basis and we're going to be putting it up now in terms of actually putting it up itself when it comes to a gallery wall you can go ahead and use some of these online tools like canva to create a grid and see what you like in terms of placement of course you can really just wing it and go for something completely organic but you'd like to see how the placements look then you can do this and of course what we're just going to do now which is all the items that we've selected we've cut out paper in the size of those items and we're going to be putting up this on the wall just to ensure we really like the placements now this is especially important if you're going to be nailing things into the wall because that way you want to minimize your damage and you don't really want to change placements but we are mostly going to be putting up things with command tape we still want to avoid wasting our command tape and of course time so we are doing this first The next segment is about setting up our bookshelf and of course styling it. I wanted a bookshelf for the past couple of years but didn't manage to buy one and when we finally got here I decided we have the space for one but I did not want anything visually heavy. So anything made out of wood was ruled out. I wanted something metal and glass and we found the perfect piece at IKEA. Now this is quite ideal in terms of its height and the number of shelves and everything for our purpose and requirements. I'm just going to do a very basic styling with it for now. I will of course make a separate video on the different ways you can style your bookshelf and um, make it look quite different with different products but for now we're just going to go with products I already have at home so you may have seen them all in previous uh, home decor and styling videos but putting them together in this new setup and of course it's going to really add a design element to the living section. We've come to the final segment of putting together the Bangalore living room and that is soft furnishing. We're going to get started with sofa cleaning. Now the upholstery had become extremely dirty with the move and even prior to that in Goa with a lot of dust and grime coming in from the terrace area. So I'm going to give it a wet vacuum, wet cleaning, deep clean and after that it's going to hopefully look good as new. Now that the sofa cleaning is done, we just need to get our cushions in place. This is an aspect that can always help you change the color palette or the design aspect of your living room very easily. 
we have this cane chair which is like our accent chair but the cushion on it is something we purchased on Amazon and it was a very dull grey. We decided to spruce it up with some new upholstery which we got stitched specifically. Also for our couch we have these long cushions for which it's impossible to get ready made cushions so again we got them stitched and uh, besides this there were few small changes that I made which is our IKEA cushions seem to crush very easily easily and I decided that I will take out foam from our urban ladder couch cushions which came overstuffed and put them in these cushions so small tweaks but make a big difference and we are all set for the final reveal. While I'm slowly heading back to my apartment I'm not asking for your thoughts I'm just thinking out loud in the darkness Ooh, there's no I'm so happy to be sitting here in our freshly styled Bangalore living room. This has indeed been a labor of love to set it up so quick after moving but totally worth the effort because now I truly feel at home. There are three things about this space that I want to share with you guys. The first being that all the furniture is obviously from our Goa home but a lot of the smaller decor products are also reused either from our Singapore home or from our earlier home in Bangalore. So that is something I wanted to share. And uh, number two, the gallery wall looks like it has a lot of products up on it, 25 to be precise, but just two of them we kept in place using nails. Everything else either uses command tape or just a little bit of glue to directly stick to the wall. So either zero or minimal damage. And the last thing I want to share is that before we made the biggest change in this space, the wallpaper, we did share it with our landlord and take consent because being transparent is extremely important to us. They were okay with it and okay with us being long-term tenants. So it kind of works out both ways. They even came over to hand over some keys and got a good look at it in person and they really liked it so I just want to put it out there that having a rented home doesn't mean that you cannot create a setup which you really like and turn it into your dream home you could still do it by making some smart choices and rental friendly decisions hope you liked our eclectic style living room as much as we did and took away some ideas tips tricks from this video if you did Please consider hitting that like button and also subscribing to my channel for more such content. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and have a great day.